Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got something pretty cool to go over because there's an article posted on Dexerto that have basically gone over all of the graphical changes that we've seen in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl since the reveal trailer back in February to right now. It's a really cool article, we're gonna break it down today. If you guys are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the graphical changes. Are you happy about what they look like now or do you like what they look like back in February? And subscribe if you're brand new. We keep you up to date with all of the latest Pokemon news. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, this is the article that was posted on Dexerto. Um, so, it will be linked in the description down below, as always. And as you can see, uh, it's just a really, really well-written article. Just summarizes all of the massive graphical changes from the reveal trailer of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl to what we know about the game now. Uh, this, like I say, will be linked in the description down below. There's a bunch of other stuff on this website as well, uh, like the one that we went over not too long ago about like the Snowpoint Temple, maybe on the left, which could be obviously Regigigas' home or maybe like another legendary location or something like that. Um, obviously, we've already covered that, but um, yeah, there's just a bunch of different kind of um, articles on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Legends Arceus, stuff like that. Anyway, we're concentrating on this one today. Um, so it was posted on the 17th of July, so quite a while ago. But Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, all graphical changes since reveal. So Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl showed off a massive overhaul in its graphics during the Nintendo Switch OLED reveal. Here is a full list of all the graphical upgrades and changes the Sinnoh remakes have received since their debut trailer in February 2021. Now there's stuff on this website that I didn't even pick up on. Um, or I didn't find or anything like that when I made my kind of comparison image like way back when in July So yeah, this is a really cool article uh, to just kind of show all of the different updates and stuff So Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl were first unveiled in February and is now available to pre-order However, the project's debut trailer was met with mixed reactions. Fans were torn over the RPG's chibi graphics engine, which some found to be a step back for the series. New footage of the Sinnoh remake shown during the Nintendo Switch OLED announcement in July has shown massive improvement in its visuals. We are going to break down everything that has changed in the Generation 4 remasters releasing this fall. So obviously this is the Nintendo Switch OLED trailer. We only got like two to three seconds of footage, so it was quite quite difficult to pick up on like all the different changes and stuff but straight off the bat you could see that the games had changed anyway it says pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl graphical changes so when pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl appeared during the switch oled announcement on july the 6th the rpgs had a, a drastically different look to the visuals that what was originally shown during the february direct from the opening battle transition sequence, it's apparent that Ilka Studios has touched up the graphics to a substantial degree. The character model for Trainer Lucas has been drastically improved as well, with clothing items now bursting with death. Uh, perhaps the most noticeable changes are in the environment. From the trees to the grass, the Sinnoh region has never looked this good before. Below, we will list every graphical change that has been made to the Diamond and Pearl reimaginings. So the first one is all about, um, well, it's just like a side-by-side -side comparison of what the game looked like in February and to what it looks like now. Obviously, we got kind of another graphical update in between where Lucas was made shorter, the background colors were different and stuff like that. But obviously that was just completely changed. That's what we thought it looked like. And then obviously the Switch OLED trailer completely knocked that out of the park and made it look completely different. So, given that the Switch OLED footage was not a direct feed, a lot of detail has been lost to compression. Despite that, the difference between Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl's debut trailer in February and the new clip in July is a stark contrast. On top of all the changes listed below, Ilka has included depth of field to battles, improved shadows and lighting, and a whole host of tiny changes that are hard to see in the footage that we have available. So this is the first bit, which is the before and after of the battle animation. So this is what it looked like in February, and obviously this is what it looks like now. Um, so it even comes with like all the different changes and stuff bullet pointed in uh, below the images which is really it's just useful so it says battle transition animation now features more colorful cartoon style leaves as you can see obviously these are just like leaves that are just panning to the left or whatever but this time there's actual stuff going on like there's blades of grass flying all over the place it says the new blades of grass break off and float around the screen which is what i just said uh, but there's been more depth between the player and the wild pokemon as well um so yeah they're like really really close to each other there but this time they're kind of much more um spaced out and stuff anyway uh the pokemon brilliant diamond shining bow color palette so this is what it looked like in february and this is what it looks like now uh so the Sinnoh remakes now sport a warm and washed out color palette 
Everything has been desaturated compared to the debut trailer, and the warmer tones are closer to the original Diamond and Pearl color palette. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the, the colors that you use now just look a lot more realistic. Like, this looks very... I don't know, it just... Very... I don't really know what the word is, but it just doesn't look that good in my opinion. I liked it when I first saw it, but that's because I didn't have this. Now we have this, like, it just looks so much more realistic. The colors look a lot better. This just looks way too cartoony for me. I know that Pokemon's supposed to be like a cartoony kind of like game, but this just is a better, more realistic kind of atmosphere, background. I just really, really like it. Next up, we have the clothing graphics changes. Um, so this is obviously what it looked like in February. I don't need to repeat that every time. So the backpack on Lucas was originally flat, but now has death. Um, yeah, like, this looks like an egg, man. Like, this doesn't even have zips or anything. It just is really minimal minimal effort in this. Maybe they had to throw the trailer quickly together to meet deadlines. I really don't know. But yeah, look how different the bag looks now. It has zips. It has like different layers to it. It's not just an egg with like a circle on it. It actually has changed loads. So yeah, his bag and arm sleeve now have HD textures. I didn't notice the arm sleeve before, but yeah, that has much more texture now to it. And then the logo on the backpack is raised up and has stitching as well as other details. So it kind of just baffles me that people see these two images and like i can't see a difference like i think they're just saying it just to cause a problem like how do you look at these two images and think they look the same like they look completely different <laughs> so yeah i don't i don't believe anyone that says they can't see a difference because it's just it's just too obvious like you're obviously doing it just to i don't know cause a scene or something anyway next up we have the improved environment and foliage graphic updates so we have dynamic grass blades that are more spread out throughout the ground the trunk and leaves on the trees now have detailed textures and the foliage is lush and more dynamically placed overall. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, it just looks better in my opinion. It looks very flat and the color palette is just ugh, but this one looks, I don't know, it's just the blend of the colors so much nicer. I just really like the green. I don't know, this this green is just, I really, really like this for like grass and stuff more than this. This is too bright and stuff, yeah. It's really off-putting, but this is just very nice. Like I say, it's the warmth kind of colors and stuff. Next up, we have Lucas's character model graphic changes. So this is obviously what it looked like. I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> it's obvious that's what it looked like in February. Anyway, the iconics, uh, the character's iconic red cap was originally flat, but now it's been given more depth. Um, which, yeah, I mean, I didn't really notice that before, but that's also a thing. The cap has been completely reshaped and now has a curved bill on the top. Um, so yeah, that's like this bit here. Whereas this time it's just like a red, I don't know, mushroom hat. And then Lucas's eyebrows are more curved and lowered now, which I didn't even realize either. Like, it, it looks like a me, you know, not not me, but you know, a me that you create for like the Nintendo Wii and stuff or whatever, or for the Switch. Um, yeah, it kind of it, it looked like those eyebrows, but yeah, that's also been changed. Um, so yeah, we will update this hub with the new footage and HD screenshots as soon as we get the highly anticipated Pokemon Direct for the Sinnoh remakes, which could be happening anytime soon. This was posted, like say, back in July, like what the fifteenth. Like I say, it's now August the eighth or whatever. So yeah, we're still waiting for that one. Uh, so there you have it. That's all of the Pokemon graphical changes in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl so far. Check out our other guides and tips for all of the uh, the things uh, Mon related. So yeah, this was basically just a kind of a rundown, a breakthrough of all, a breakthrough, a breakdown of all of the different kind of graphical changes for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Like I say, this will be linked in the description down below. But um, it's all we've kind of got to go off, uh, really, until we actually get some new footage. Next week, we could be getting a Pokemon Presents. Obviously, there's Junichi Masuda tweet and stuff. Um, the Olympics are going on right now, though, which is why we're probably not getting any news. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people are thinking the first couple of weeks of August we might see something, which, you know, if all of the old trailers of the past for the, all the old games have anything to say about it, then that is very, very likely. But, again, we'll just have to wait and see. But it was a nice kind of trip down memory lane seeing the actual changes to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Even though they're still using these kind of screenshots for the promotional images, like when Nintendo tweet out and stuff, and even on, like, the, um... Uh, the, the placeholders and stuff that you're finding in like your local game shops and everything. They're still using these kind of images, which just baffles me when we have like this kind of stuff. They must have to use this because this hasn't technically been revealed yet, even though it has. I don't really know. It's a whole different situation. Anyway, that's going to be everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts on all the graphical changes? Subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. That's everything from me, though. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.